Hello everyone, it's Nikhil from Expert Station and in this video we will be reviewing the browsing and other experience on the Android 4.2 ice cream sandwich on my Sony Ericsson Xperia Neo V. I had earlier uploaded a video on a short review of the ice cream sandwich and some people were having problems about the browsing and the speed of the Android 4.2. So in this video I will be resolving all the problems and I will show you the browsing experience. And also many people get problems about the multitasking and lags about the multitasking on the Android 4.0. So I will be showing you the speed of the multitasking and how multitasking works on this. So let's talk about the browsing. Currently I have my default browser, Google Chrome and also the Dolphin HD. So I will be showing you all of them to show you the difference. So there I have three browsers. First one is Chrome Beta. Second one is Dolphin Browser HD and the third one is the default browser. So first we will be looking about the browsing. So at the first I will open the Google Chrome. It is only for the Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich and not for other versions. This is quite like the PC version of the Google Chrome. Only some differences are added to fit it in the Android. So now I need to first turn the Wi-Fi on. So currently the page is youtube.com that is m.youtube.com and the new thing is that the loading appears below the search box. So this is the new chrome for viewing the tabs you can press this key and here the tabs are visible now also with the 3d view as you can see and you can switch between one tab just like this and then click again and you can switch to the other tabs you can also switch to the tabs by swiping left or right and the transition while doing this is very great now as you can see the loading appears below the search box And there also appears a 3D view in this also, as you can see here. So this is the YouTube on the Google Chrome. And there's the refresh key. And here you can type the address. And now one more new thing is that the suggestions also appear just like the PC. Now when you type G, there are the suggestions below. And then you can open the page of the suggestions. The browsing experience is really great. And here the number of tabs also appear in a small font. And you can also close the tab by clicking this tiny close button. And it, it gets closed with a transition. And it does not lag at all. And the experience is really very great. So currently now I am in the settings of the Google Chrome and from here you can adjust various options such as autofill forms that is the suggestions to appear when you fill any form and also the option to save passwords just like the PC and currently both of them are on. So it will now save passwords and put them up automatically when you just insert the username and the other tools are there below that is if you want to clear the browsing data you can click clear the browsing data and there is uh, an another separate section that is under the hood for this and then you can also select the other options such as import bookmarks about the privacy the content settings and the font size to display also developer tools and send feedback and about chrome so here's the information about chrome the legal information the google chrome version the application version and the web kit javascript version executable path and the profile path this is all the information about the Google Chrome. And this is the other settings. That is the new tab, new incognito tab. Which means that it will not get stored in your history when you click any page in the incognito tab. And the other bookmarks, other devices, share, find in page, request desktop site, settings and help also. And there appears the back key to get back to the browser. 
So that was all the Google Chrome. So now let's check out browsing on the Dolphin browser. Now the look of the Dolphin browser is just like the default look of Chrome on the PC. As you can see the tabs and the suggestions here appear. Now you can type anything here. And the suggestions appear below. Just like the Chrome. Here the plus option is there. To add a new tab. And you can also name it and add a site to it. And here's the refresh key. And here are the suggestions. By which you can directly access any site. And you can also create a new tab by clicking, clicking this plus key. And you have your new tab that looks just like the default Google Chrome of the PC. And then you can type anything here. And you can switch tabs just like the normal way. And here are the options of the add-ons when you swipe from right to left. That is the full screen, the color splash and the other add-ons by clicking on the settings. And when you swipe from left to right, the other options such as the bookmarks and the history appear. Recycle phone, green heart, google and the other quick access below here and search also. You cannot switch to tabs by swiping left or right. And if you have access tabs then you can swipe like this to switch between the tabs if you have more than 3 tabs in the vertical position. The Dolphin browser is really great in its sense. And you can access many tabs at one time. And also search anything which you want here in the Google. So that was the browsing experience on the Dolphin browser. Now let us see browsing on the default browser of the device. Now some things have changed such as the loading appears below just like the Chrome. And many other things have changed. First let us let the page load. And then I will show you some other features. So here's the wrong button. Now there's the connection problem. Now for refreshing you'll have to click here. And then there will appear the refresh key. First you have to click stop loading the page. And then you will have to refresh. That's just like the default browser of the PC. As the stop loading the page and refresh the page again. Now there's been some connection problem. We'll open some other tab. For doing this you will have to click that key now which I clicked before and then you will have to click the plus key. Then it will take you to the home page again but now let us go to some other page. Now for switching tabs you ca cannot swipe left or right you will have to go here and then you will have to switch your tabs. Now here let us open google.com So here the youtube is not loading properly Yeah it's done So when you click here The voice uh, search option also appears That is you can narrate it by voice You can narrate the web page by your voice And when you get out there the tabs key appear there. You have to switch tabs like this only you can't swipe left or right for switching tabs. I think so the Google Chrome or the Dolphin HD browser is better than the default browser of the Android 4.0. And here will appear the information about the page. And the browsing is just as normal as it is. And you can also go to options here. The options appear just like a small page. It does not take the whole of the space. You can click refresh, bookmarks, save to bookmarks, share page, find on page, request desktop site, save for offline reading and settings. If you click the save for offline reading, then the page can open offline also. So I have searched Gameloft on Google now. And all the three of the browsers support pins to zoom. 
and even after zooming the text appears hd and high quality you can also double click to zoom but that is quite irritating the normal zoom is better and all the three of the browsers that is google chrome dolphin hd and this also supports pins to zoom if any text is too small to be readable you can pins to zoom it and then you can read it clearly and there are almost no lags in browsing and also browsing in google chrome and dolphin hd the scrolling is also very non laggy so this is really great so this was all the browsing on the browser now let's talk about multitasking and lags on the android 4.0 Now I will open various apps and let us see that if it lags or not. So now let us see lags. I have currently set a live wallpaper, so currently it may lag. But if you set a normal wallpaper, it will not lag that much. Only sometimes if it gets too much overloaded, then it may lag. Now as you can see, many apps are open. Browser is also open. Alarms is also open. Xperia Gallery, Music, Messaging, and Phone. Many of the apps are open, but still there are no lags. Only sometimes it may lag a bit, but it doesn't lag that much. The scrolling only tells us that there are no too much lags. And there is also live wallpaper set currently, and no lags during the live wallpaper is really a great thing. Now let us end all of those tasks. So now as you have seen there are not so much lags when multitasking is on. Now let's talk about the themes and the wallpapers. This device has various wallpapers and you can go to the wallpapers to check out all of them. There are the wallpapers from the gallery. You can select live wallpapers from Xperia gallery and Xperia wallpapers. There are a lot of live wallpapers available. As you can see these all are by default in the Android 4.0. and there are also special xperia wallpapers which are new and they appear in hd and you can set any of those wallpapers which you like and you can also change the theme and automatically the color of the theme also gets changed currently it's yellow so as you can see it appears a bit like yellow there you can change the theme by the themes currently it's gold you can change to sapphire amethyst turquoise ru ruby so when we set ruby the theme gets pinkish that is the ruby like color so this is a great thing and you can set the theme of the color which you like that's it guys now most of your problems are solved If you have any other problems then you can comment in the comment section below and I will upload a separate video for the problem which you have and stay tuned for the full review of the ICS that is ice cream sandwich currently I am just solving your problems but later I will upload a full review of the ICS and please thumbs up the video if you like this and subscribe today if you want for more latest tech news so subscribe today thanks for watching